Hi, what's up everyone? It's Lois here. Um, I'm currently here with my friend Pete. So, Pete, wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> Can you see yourself? Yeah, just about. Yeah, just popped up. <laughs> Now, you know what, you can tell when you're YouTubers can't even figure this, like, filming yourself in out. But yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, we were just sitting... <laughs> he was going, what am I doing? What am I doing, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what I'm going to do is look at one of his drawings and try and recreate that in my own style. And then you're going to do the same with one of mine, aren't you? Yep. Yeah, because um, we're both quite colourful with how we approach, like, drawing and stuff, but... At the same time, our styles are very distinctive from each other, you know what I mean? So I can't wait to see how we interpret it. And yeah, I hope I, I do you proud. Here's the video now, enjoy. <laughs> so just before anyone comments, yes, I filmed this over a couple of days, hence why I've got different outfits on and then even a new hair colour at the end. <laughs> but you know what though, I'm a busy person. I've done this in between commissions and stuff, so yeah. Let me live. <laughs> Go ahead, Pete. Um, so, <laughs> so no, how, what, what have you done here? Yeah, so I'm doing a sketch first before I do your actual drawing because um, I'm quite a perfectionist like that. So I've started with the grid method and as you can see on my busted as laptop, <laughs> I know we need to fix them, don't yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got your picture up, but I've put a little grid above it like you know on photoshop and that so i'm just like copying it off that you know what i mean yeah, yeah. but i'm working from the like i think i've tried to work from the bottom upwards yeah. like how you said you do with your art yeah yeah um, so what are you using here um i'm using materials, it's all right um i'm using posca pens and i'm using cartridge paper i got from cast art <laughs> whoop whoop <laughs> <laughs> hashtag i wish Cast Art would sponsor me. Yeah. Demo Posca. <laughs> Actually, no, to be fair, if they looked at that, they'd be like, nah, you're all right. <laughs> In a bit, ta -da. You never know. You never know. Um, so how did you find drawing my artwork? Easier than I thought, to be honest. I think what kind of, like, scared me at first, I'm not going to lie, was the text. You know what I mean? Because, like, I draw text in my work, but, like, I'm not as confident with that as I am, like, with drawing people. You know what I mean? Yeah. See, where I'm, like, confident enough to draw them. Yeah. But I'll let you into a little secret. Oh, go on. I can't draw an essence. <laughs> they're the worst. No, they're hard, aren't they? Because the you're one. trying to get it symmetrical, but I feel yeah. like the bottom part for me is always, like, wider than the top part. They're the worst ones to draw. Letters. Yeah. S's. Actual but, snakes. S for sneak. Yeah. Oh, we are. Do you see what I'm doing here? Yeah, so what are you doing here if you don't mind asking? So, I outlined it first. That's why I used the light box before. And then um, I've used the light to colour first. To colour. So, like, in this bit, like, I'm colouring it all in yellow first. So, I will start with the lighter colour and finish with the darkest colour. You know, like screen printing. Yeah, yeah. So we kind of approach it like that. Because if you start with colours in the past first without realising, yeah. you used to like colour next to it. And like the light colour, colour kind of goes a bit over and that does my head in. Yeah. So, because it means that like it takes me longer to finish it because I'm like cleaning up more. Whereas if I do it like that, I get it done quicker. Yeah. So it's like, get it. What is it? Kill two birds with one stone? <laughs> I always wonder how you could do that. Anyway, yeah, I digress. Um, so, I like to use markers. I can't use paint pens. Because every time I've used them in the past, they went everywhere. <gasps> See, that happened with my yellow layer here. So, yeah. you know where I drew three hugs? Yeah. The writing for that. Yeah. Well, the yellow pen spilled a little bit. And... It was so annoying because I thought, oh, for God's sake. But then at the same time, I was glad it was, like, yellow when it wasn't, like, black or anything. Because yeah, yeah. I thought I'd have to start all over again. You know yeah. what I mean? And I could not be bothered. Yeah. So it was one of them when I thought, oh, it's the light colour. I can just colour it, like, fill it, cover it with, like, the yeah. darker colours. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so 
what was the hardest thing and what was the easiest thing to do? Hmm. I'd say the text was the hardest. Because I think how you draw your text is so distinctive. Yeah. I kind of wanted to, like, get it a bit right. <laughs> Yeah. But then at the end, I thought, you know what, Pete just goes for it. He's not even bothered. So I tried to like apply that, like, yeah. where you're thinking, and then that made me more confident. Then you know what I mean. And sometimes I'll think, yeah. what would Pete do? He wouldn't be. He wouldn't be. <laughs> That's what I do. Shoddy. <laughs> just going for it. <laughs> um, yeah, cause I. I never plan my artwork. It just comes naturally, which is. I've noticed that you're quite spontaneous, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. I like I like to be spontaneous, and I, I also like not to plan it as much. Yeah. If I like, there'd be certain characters that I use, like the the smiley face with a bit of trunk tuck in it, a trunk of his head missing or something. The characters that I use quite a lot, but mainly like sometimes I'll use characters from a game. Oh I, yeah. I love Pac-Man. I've noticed that because like you draw a lot of big smiley faces, don't you? Yeah, yeah. And they always remind me of Pac-Man. Pac-Man, Mario, um, what else? All the old retro games I like. So mainly I've I seen. try to do the artwork around a certain base like that. But as I say, I never plan any of my artwork. No, you know what though? I can no. I can see your influencers. Yeah. You know what I mean? But I love the fact that like you don't rip rip them off, you know what I mean? Yeah, I try to be a bit different. Like you put your own stamp on it. Yeah. And I think that's why I love your work so much. Yeah, it's got when you look at when you look at different people on Instagram or YouTube or Facebook and when they do an art you see that you see the same pattern. Even yeah. the different artists, you see the same pattern and you go, oh, I've saw that one there before, I saw that one yesterday. But, and it's like, I try not to be that type of artist. So yeah, I like to do things a lot more different. Oh yeah, it's where your ear changes now, isn't it? Oh my god, I've got my ciggies out as well, I feel ashamed. Oh well. <laughs> can't, can't please everyone. Mind you though, I? to be fair, I think it'll only be me seeing this, you know what I mean? Yeah. They all know a smoke anyway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it was actually interesting seeing someone else try one of my artworks, but done it, it really used used the bright colours like I did. I was quite surprised like on how you done it. Yeah, I think that's why doing your artwork wasn't as like daunting as a thought because I think our work's similar because we both use bright colours. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it was like coming out of my comfort zone but like, you know, it's it's not scary because it's like stepping out your comfort zone a little bit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like yeah. I'm not throwing myself in the deep ends. Like it's an it's nice stepping out of the comfort zone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember I can't remember who told me, but like they were talking about comfort zone where it's like a dartboard. So like in the middle is like your normal comfort zone. Yeah. And that's bad. And then the middle bit is like coming out your comfort zone in a good way. Right. Yeah. And that's what drawing what drawing your work was like. Yeah. Like coming out the comfort zone but it's still sound. Because yeah, like the other yeah. one is like coming out of dead like right yeah. you know, the outside layer. I've got and that's like your... where you're dead too yeah. uncomfortable where it's like, nah, I need to step back. And I've that's got okay. To draw yours, yeah. I can't wait to see yours. Yeah. So, so yeah, forgive me for not wearing much makeup, but I finished the drawing, so I'm gonna pass it to Pete now, drop it off it is, and see what he thinks. So yeah, fingers crossed he likes it, eh? All right, see you in a bit. So yeah, I'm currently in Pete's now. Um, I'm filming this so he doesn't see it until I reveal it to him. Mwahahaha. But yeah, um, yeah, don't worry about me being in Pete's 
place, by the way. Like, we are social distancing. I'm just making sure I'm not touching stuff. And besides, I've got the baby wipes in the bag. I've got the hand gel. Sources. So, yeah, Pete, you ready, dude? Well, yeah, go ahead. Right. Da -da 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 -da. Brace yourself. Uh, go on. Oh, it's right. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I'm glad you are. Yeah, go on. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can see that. Some of the characters. Yeah. yeah. It's your, I like your, I've always liked your style. I've always so, liked yours. Yeah, so now I've got to do your one. So oh, I can't like, wait. I'm so excited. Yeah. Bring it on. Woo, woo. I know, yeah.